38th start of his career, the quarterback transfer from NC State. Second and six, and Devin Leary's got open space, and Leary past midfield. Excuse me, Ray Davis past midfield. This is an elite company with what he's been able to do at Kentucky. And this time he is tackled for a loss. That was Ben Perry getting into the backfield against Ray Davis. Third and 14 for Devin Leary. Pressure up the middle, and he is ripped down immediately by Wilson. First and goal. Jordan, with all that beef in front, goes in for a Louisville touchdown on their 14th play of the drive. 240. It's going to be a meeting right here. And Louisville gets the win. They're trying to play you in a phone booth when they line up with fullbacks and tight ends. The cup. I think weighs 110 pounds. It's like a weight of a jockey at nearby Churchill Downs. Barry and Brown on the return for Kentucky. And Brown weaving his way out to the 28-yard line. Leary, they pick up the pressure, goes downfield, and gets it complete to Brown. 37, Leary pressured right away and brought down by Jelani. Second and three, he gets the work again. Met at the line by Dion Walker. Third and ten for Devin Leary and the Cats. Goes shallow underneath and then up and over for the first down. Play action, Leary. Gets a complete inside the 15-yard line as he's able to connect with Dane Key. Jefferson can't find anything. Excellent pursuit by Louisville up front. Quincy Riley was the first to get to him. Leary, 36 to the end zone. What an effort to come up with it. Dane Key. Dane Key up top is running the fade. Freeze it right there. Look at this. That is a tremendous job pre-snap, understanding where he's going to go with the football, and how about the location of that throw? In the country. Third down and three. Plummer. Wants more than three, and he's able to get it to Coleman. Gets a chance at redemption. 46-yard attempt. Great rotation and a target line kick breaks the top. I'm actually a fan of like what UCLA and USC do. Everybody wears the home jerseys. Here's, where the Here's the jet action with Coleman as Coleman makes a man miss and will have a first down for Louisville. Third and six. Plummer. Far side complete to Chris Bell. First down cards. Rendo changes direction and it works out well. Inside the 10, inside the 5, first and goal rule. Jordan, can he get there? Pushes through and in. Gone Deion Walker right here, kind of caving him inside. He gives up about 60 pounds to Walker, but good physical play right in the interior of the alarm. Jordan made it a 17 to 7 game. Brown's going to take it out from the end zone. And it's a good decision. Barry on Brown. Well, now how's that Kentucky fan feeling? Mighty good. Taking it out of the end zone. Not when you got jets like this. Full striding all the way. And this rivalry just heats up even hotter. And it's not as much chaos as you think. And now Garendo gets his opportunity on the kickoff return. And Garendo gets a good one as well. 
Isaac Garendo out to midfield. We got 150 yards in kickoff returns back to back. And Garendo will take it off right tackle, and Garendo will turn the corner. Boy, he has really come on in recent weeks, hasn't he? Maxwell Hairston, starting corner for Kentucky, came off the field after that last play. Setting up the screen, Garendo with blockers in front, another first down, cuts back and has the ball inside the 15-yard line. And rush, and caught by his big head, and Gatewood reaching forward, touchdown Louisville! Joey Gatewood with the extra effort scores it. Swings, right? Watch his body on top of the defender, Jesse. Yeah. Look at his legs. Does that left elbow ever touch the ground before the ball crosses the plane? And you can see as he's laying atop JQ. Getting to the outside, I think, helps this rushing offense. First offensive play of the second half for Kentucky. Wide open. And Cummings still going down to the 20-yard line. Leary. Looking for Davis in the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Back and forth they go. Davis out of the backfield on a wheel route. He runs by two Louisville defenders. And a perfect throw, dropping it right in the butt. Jordan hits the seam and a no ball came out. Ball came out at the end just as he was spinning for extra yardage. There is a fight for it. What a great effort by J.J. Weaver from Kentucky in pursuit. Once Jordan got into the second level, it was Kentucky the comes out with it. And look who has it. And around Brown. Gets the block. Cuts up inside the 30 and tiptoes his way for more. This to tie the game from 46. And he does so. Third and three. Plummer trying to extend the play and look at an option. May have to run it here on third and three. Ball came out. The ball came out. And it's J.J. Weaver again. Davis trying to get out of the backfield. Davis upfield. Inside the 10. Into the end zone. with a linebacker, Jalen Alderman, on the screen, and Ray Davison's space is a problem. We haven't seen him do a lot of damage toting the rock in this game. Six carries for 15. Look, I agree with you. Jesse, I know you do, too, that if you watch ball closer this year, it doesn't take much to say. Jaden Daniels taken down again. J.J. Weaver has decided to impact this game. Four comeback wins. That's the most Louisville's had since 2012. Third down and 11 for Plummer. And able to get the first down to Thrash. Third down and nine. Louisville trying to get the ball back. Maintain their status as a top 10 team. Leary drifting back. Pressured. Second and eight. Plummer is wrecked. Driven back by Hayes. Fourth down for Louisville. Plummer looking for something being chased. Gets rid of it. And they get it to Hines Bruce. A little magic from Jack Plummer. Had all the come from behind wins this year. Could they have Ray Davis looking for something. Ray Davis getting loose. Second and ten for Leary. What a great throw and into the hands. 
hands of Brown. And they are in range for a chance to win it. Ray Davis. Here goes Ray. Say goodbye to Ray. Into the end zone. And the Cats are in control. Block Ben Perry right here, but he's got to take his time, let it happen before he hits it. You know, there's a lot of running backs in this moment that would have tried to bounce it outside. He cut it back. He made a defender miss. And like we've seen all season, he's able to hit the gas and it's Taylor. There was a time this year after the Florida game that people were talking about Ray Davis being a dark horse Heisman candidate. The second half of the season has been tough sledding for them running the football. But catching the ball in the third quarter, now getting it done on the ground. In time. This dream season for Louisville. It comes down to this. He's going to loft it to the end zone. That ball is intercepted. That is Jordan Lovett to put a cap on it. You don't see many Hail Marys from the 32-yard line, but this was it. I thought they had an opportunity to maybe try to dial something up to get down a little bit closer. He threw it down there, but none of the Louisville received. Kentucky, zero penalties today. In a second half, that saw 45 points in a thriller with a 100-yard kickoff return with Ray Davis and his three touchdowns and a defense that stepped up big with that guy right there, J.J. Weaver, with two fumble recoveries.